Yes, test. Okay. You're loud and clear. And weather. So I need to flip, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Push that in. Weather's 2537. Knoxville. Knoxville Downtown Island Airport. Automated weather observation. 1610. Zulu. Wind variable at 0. 5. Visibility more than 10. Sky condition clear below 12,000. Temperature 12. Dew point minus 1 altimeter 3029er. Remarks. Be advised, the downtown island air. Okay. And we'll just set field elevation. Yep, 830 and then check your barometric pressure. And we got 3029er. Uh, the Island, the Catalan 721 is about five miles to the south at 2,000 feet inbound, full stop, downtown. Okay, weather copy check, transponder standby. We turn this on, correct? Yeah, put it on altitude. Uh, they changed, just changed the rule now. They want it on altitude from the time you taxi to the time you uh, shut down. Okay. And it's on, what's it on? On, yeah, put it on altitude. There you go. Okay. Let's see, we're good. And we've got none of that. Nav lights on at night. We're not at night. Taxi area clear. Looks good. Yoke full aft. Downtown Island, the cap on 721 Sierra Delta. Three miles to the south. Rex release. We'll cross midfield, entering the downwind for zero check. downtown. Helicopter three nine Charlie Papa, right downwind eight downtown. We'll pull forward, do a brake check. Yep. Watch this guy, them. Roger. All right, do a brake check. All right. All right, pull your power back. Downtown Island, the cap on 721 Sierra Delta is about one mile to the south. What's that? Check, check your parking brake. We're flying at midfield. We'll enter the Make downwind sure for zero eight. Go forward a little. 2,000 feet down the cap. Okay, hold on. Here, take it off. And roll forward a little bit. Take your feet off the brakes. Now pull your parking brake. See if it stops here. There you go. That's got what it. he wants to All see. I got you. All right. Check it. Mine are good. Okay. And we're ready to taxi, correct? Yep. We call the radio, tell them we're going, looks yep. like. Say downtown, um, Cessna 4, or Skyhawk, 4331 Romeo is taxiing from the fuel farm to runway 8. Island Home Traffic, Cessna 4331 Romeo is taxiing from fuel farm to runway 80. Island Home. Rough. Island Home, the Capcom 721, the crossing midfield, entering the downwind, zero, zero 08, sorry, downtown. When you taxi, taxi with either power or brakes, but not both at the same time. Unless you're coming around Telecom the corner. Need, Charlie Papa, you know. eight downtown, right traffic. We don't have right traffic downtown here. Downtown traffic, 597 Juliet Soft is eight too. miles to the east inbound, downtown. We're eight zero, correct? Yep, runway. Roger. Look at the wind side. We always want to take off into the wind. That one's showing pretty good. Downtown Island, the gas on 721 Sierra Delta, base 08, downtown. Taxi speed good? Perfect. Perfecto. That storm came through last night. We had a lot of uh, thunderstorm activity. At our at our place in uh, Sevierville, yeah. That's some rain and some thunder enough to freak out the ten-year-old. Yep. That must have been Micah's. Say again, Micah. That landing must have been yours. Now I'm gonna give the credit to old Marky Mark here.
guys might look for a spare airplane somewhere. <laughs> Got one found. That was a lousy landing. Smooth touchdown, though. <laughs> Actually, a little faster than this. Talked to Rob the other day. We is out this chatted morning. for about 20 minutes. Yeah. We'll go here, run up. Yeah. Just stay on the yellow line, yellow brick road. Get that nose wheel right on it. Way around, so if anybody else wants to come Southbound in. Southbound traffic, 597 Juliet Golf is three and a half miles to the east. We'll be entering the downwind for runway eight downtown. No, 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 no. Yep. On your yellow line. Oh, here, let me let me get it. Let me jump it over. You got to have your nose wheel straight. You want to be on this yellow line. All these little deals paint a picture to the examiner, so, you know, it's attention to detail on them. You'll get it, but you want to be on that line, and you want to have those rudder pedals uh, even, okay? Or you won't be able to get a good uh, rudder check when you go to check your flight controls. Okay. Uh, break on. Take your time with your checklist. Okay. Let's see here. Taxi. Downtown traffic, 597 Juliet Golf on the downwind for runway 8, downtown. Doors and windows latched. Okay, my locked. door and my window is latched, and my seatbelt's on, my shoulder harness on. Extra rich, do we hold that out until we take off, or? You uh, no, you can put it in. Okay. All 1700, we got the brakes on, we're good. All right, you're gonna do your mags, you're gonna go real slow now, one, two, okay? Check your drop. Now you wanna hold your right hand on that. Okay, go to two. All right, there's a good drop, back to both. Now one, do one, back to both. Good. Okay. And uh, it was carb heat. Pull it out. Check for, for drop. drop. Yep. There you got go. a drop. Suction five. Remember that runs these two uh, instruments: your attitude indicator and directional gyro. If that fails, that pump fails. You lose those two. Does. A little pressure's in the green. Yep. A little temperature. A little cool. Not warmed up yet. Ambient or positive. Looks yep. good. Throttle 900. We'll pull it back. Trims take off. We're good. Flight controls free. All right, all the way forward, all the way to the left, all the way back around the horn. Do that three times. Check both ailerons, your elevator, and when you're looking back there, get your rudders too. All right, check. And flight instrument. So we're going to do the flow pattern, correct? Yep. Start with your airspeed. All right, airspeed is up and down. Yep. I'll we'll set this so we pull it out. Yeah, there we go. Do anything here, right? No, uh, no. Altimeter, field elevation. Traffic, 597 Juliet Golf, turning base for runway right, 8. Using that, okay. alive. Just tweak it up just a little bit, get it in the middle. Okay, so the heading, you got a, you got your uh, VOR frequency in there. Tune it. And right. Right. There you go. Yeah, this is the Mars code. Virginia, Ohio, Lake Erie, West Virginia, Maryland, District of Columbia, Delaware, Virginia, and coastal waters. Moderate turbulence below 15,000. Air Mass I had that Morse code, okay? All right. All right. And you're in V-Lock, not GPS. That's GPS, that's V-Lock. Okay. So you got your uh, frequencies. 123.9 is uh, uh, Knox Approach, and we'll okay. get flight following if they're not too busy over there. Okay. Got our VOR. Let's put a waypoint in here, and you can do it two ways. The easiest way, scroll it out to about 20 miles. Okay, traffic five, nine, seven, All right, then hit your cursor. All right, now hit direct and enter twice. All right, now scroll it out to 20 miles. Oh, you're all set. Okay. okay. Come down. Come this down. is inoperative. In operative. We're on altitude 1200 for VFR. Yep. yep. No, there's uh, nothing on your checklist. You got to just okay. go for a flow pattern. In operative. We know this is good. Vertical speed zero. That's correct. Uh, we need to change. Let's set this. So that's your directional gyro. 20. About 237. And 240 is good enough. 240. Yeah. All right. 
right. That's good. Wings level fluid little, in the race. Wings level fluid in the race. Okay, two more items on your checklist. Okay. Landing light on. Put them both on. Both on. Flaps are up. Good. And let them know we're going. Yep. You can put your checklist up. Here's the air on the floor. That's good. We're going to say uh, uh, 3 1 Romeo taxiing to for 280. For Take it off of runway 28. Take it off runway 28. Downtown. Put downtown on the start and the end of your transmission. Okay. Downtown traffic, Cessna 31 Romeo, taxiing to 8 for departure downtown. Okay, you want to tell them you're taking off 8. You, That's what we're going to do. Go ahead, you can start your roll. That all, all the way back. And so we're taking off runway 8. When you tell them you're taxiing, they think you're just taxiing over to no. here. Island Home traffic, 4331 Romeo's taxiing to take off runway 80. Island Home. Downtown traffic, 597 Juliet Goss, clear the active downtown. What did they have for airplanes over there? They have 172s or? I was in a 152. Oh, 152. They had a bunch of different ones, but that's the one I was in. Eight flight instructors. This guy's had every one of them. <laughs> Okay, let's use all our runway. Yep. I'll check, we'll clear here. Clear out there. Yep. All right, get yourself right in the middle, put some power on. All right, square in the middle of the runway. Anticipate that you're gonna, the airplane is gonna wanna uh, veer to the left due to torque and P-factor and slipstream, so try to keep us right in the middle. Right rudder? Yep, drop your feet all the way down to the bottom of those rudder pedals and full power. Put that about right there to keep your hand on your throttle. There you go. And we'll roll to 60 and then we'll rotate. There you go, pull back. Good takeoff. Now push forward a little bit. Take your left foot and put it back by the seat. You don't need it for climb. And get your trim set so you don't have any pressure on the stick. All right, look at the ball. You gotta put more a steady pressure and hold it on. Just enough, about right there. Then just keep that constant, keep that steady pressure constant. Keep them all in the middle. Work your pitch attitude to give you 80. How many years ago were you over there at all branched? Uh, 15, 2000. Oh, for Lord's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good memory, man. You remember your instructor's name. Yeah. My uncle took lessons from him, too. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Okay. Did he ever get his license? He, my uncle did, yeah. He's an instrument commercial. Wow. Yep. He never did anything with it, but... Yeah. That's actually what got me... Got me flying the first time was him doing it. Well, get that flight. If you're going to get a commercial, get the flight instructor because it's you don't. Have, there's no time limit on it or anything like that. Then you can do something with it. And we'll go up to three thousand. Thousand. Yep. And head for House Mountain over there. All right. Now, you guys, did you guys ever get flight following from Memphis Center when you were out in the practice area? I don't remember doing that. Okay, no. well, this is 23-9, and I'm going to call them and tell them to look out for us, okay? okay. And they'll give us traffic calls and everything. It's a free service. It saved my life twice in the last two years. I mean, it would have been mid-airs. I wow. mean, it was, yeah, very, very close. So uh, a lot of instructors don't want to do it. They think it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it'll it'll three, save your life. Off and, and the guys love it. They love to do it for you. That's what they're there for. Got it. Knox approach, Cessna 4331 Romeo. Cessna 31 Romeo, Knox approach. We're just off downtown. We're headed for the uh, House Mountain practice area. We'd like some flight following if you have time, please. They'll give us a squawk. We'll put it in. Okay. You need more right runner. 
Romeo, squad code 0334. 0334. Okay, go ahead and put it in. Three, two, Double three, three, two, Juliet Tango, contact Tri City, the first one, two, five, point five. Now he'll call out traffic for us. Two, five, point five. Three, two, Keep an eye out for us. It's great. We had an accident when I was at Sky Ranch, and a guy flew into a thunderstorm at night in one of the 150s, and uh, he lived out of it, destroyed wow. the airplane. But they asked him why, in the hearing, why he wasn't up uh, the flight following from Chattanooga, and he says his instructor told him never to do that. Wow. Can you imagine that flew right into a thunderstorm? That's what they're there for, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm doing Yankees wow. traffic uh, about 5 to 6 o'clock, and about 3, 3 miles a on it again, right. 2000 so Push your nose down, look at the natural horizon, start sure. trimming it down. That was for November 2, 1 Yankee. All right. Now, let your airspeed go above 100 and then pull it back to 2,200 RPMs. But keep looking and see your uh, horizons coming up. Yep. That means you're climbing. You need more nose down trim. See, as the airplane's accelerating, you're, more gaining, lift. you're gaining more lift. Yeah. All right, now pull your power back to 2,300. 22, put it back, the edge of the, of the green arm. Seven, three, one, Romeo, is right at contact, three miles northeast of downtown at 3,000. Mox flight temperature is 3029. What was your request? 3029. We're just going to be out maneuvering, just like some flight following. Please. I'm three, one, Romeo, Roger, and what else is uh, About 3,000. Okay. All right, lean your mixture out about an inch. 3,500, coming to 3,600 for 6,000. Envoy 3575, Knoxville departure, radar contact, maintain one zero. You get to listen to the radio in the background, and uh, that'll help your skills with talking to these guys. Envoy 3575, maintain 6,000, turn left right, toe path. Remember what happens in a turn. 9 o'clock and 5 miles east. First of all, you adverse yaw, the nose wants to go in the opposite direction, so that's why you have to put rudder in. When you're established in your angle of bank, there is no more adverse yaw. Take your foot off the rudder. All right, and uh, you also lose lift in a turn, so you got to compensate for that by looking on the uh, on the uh, what do you call it, the natural horizon. So let's just do a couple of a uh, couple of turns. Let's come to the left first. Left. Yep. Aileron and rudder. Put that rudder in there, and I want you to overuse it when we first start. All right. Now take your foot off of it. Now come back to the right. Aileron and rudder simultaneously. Now, you got to keep it in a little bit longer. Let it, okay, now take it out. 3650, 44, fighting 270. Turn coming. All right, back to the left. Rudder in, aileron at the same time. Now, that was nice. Keep it in. You're taking it out too long, or too, too soon. Okay. Let it kind of stabilize in the angle of bank. Okay. okay, let's come back to the right. The traffic is not back to maintain one. The reason I am big on this, this basic flying, I get guys with, you know, a lot of flight time, and they never touch the rudder. They never use it. All right, let's come back to the left. The rudder's kind of a lost art. You should put off the rudder. Tango, contact tri to the first, one, two, five, point five. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, let's come back to the right. Have a great day. All right, now I want you to go all the way around 360 degrees. About You're about a 30-degree angle of bank right there. Take it all the way around. 3,000 miles downtown in sight. Look at the natural horizon, get your eyes out of the cockpit. Keep that 30 degree angle of bank in there, about right there. Just try to track it around the horizon. It's a little bumpy out here today. Yeah. Good. Very good. Always try to fly with your fingertips, and no that'll make you, you trim the air. Down down to I fly this frequency or on the ground, 121.7. you get around the house, let's reverse it. Use your aileron and your rudder simultaneously. Okay, reverse. There you go. Now hold the steady pressure on that rudder. Now take it out. Very nice. It always is a little bumpy when we, one of those fronts come through. It's, it's a pressure that's in back of it, basically. Uh, when you were in school, did you guys ever go over the lift formula? 
what creates lift? Yes. Okay. I'll give you a little bit more of that since okay. you've got a good background on that. That'll help you understand trimming and so forth. Let's do a couple of uh, progressive stalls here. As a matter of fact, uh, let's now let's come left. Let's come back around to the left. I want to head back towards that cement plant. That was good rudder. Very good. Now, if you're going somewhere on a cross country, just as a VFR pilot, uh, you can get flight following to your destination. Now. It's just like flying um, IFR. You got to uh, remain VFR, but they're giving you calls and uh, you know keeping you out of uh, air spaces that you shouldn't be in. It's great service. Yes, 540 does. That's through Romeo. Are you using runway eight at downtown? Affirmative. 540 affirmative. Runway eight and ready service terminated. Okay, just roll out here. VFR. All right, now I want you to pull your put your carb or your mixture in. Rich. Yep. November 3 in Romeo, the traffic is now about 9 o'clock and 3 miles indicates 2,500 uh, westbound. All right, we're looking for them uh, through on Romeo. Westbound, okay. Can your 7 kilo off of this and maintain 7,000? 7,000, 7 kilo off. They'll keep giving us. Okay, get your. Uh, Senator 1 through Dr. Romeo, contact Jen. Carburetor heat out. Carburetor heat all the way out. Yep, have a good day. your power all the way to idle. All the way back to right. All right, now I want you to trim it up so the nose stays right on the horizon. Uh, I got to take your hands off. Stay so you how you're doing. Okay, that's good. Now Senator we're going to do these, Yankee, the previous, these uh, little uh, traffic, no progressive stalls, but both your hands Roger. on your yoke. Just pull it back, and when it stalls, let's let it the nose down. Let's let it really easy. Yeah, that's right. Let's let it really easy. Yeah, that's right. Let's let it really easy. 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 Let's let it now tell me what what uh, airspeed we stall out there this time. Forty-five. Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna do a couple more. These yeah. are called progressive stalls. They just get, you know, they're kind of fun. Do you have the traffic now, just south of you, southeast of you, two thousand two hundred? We have the traffic. Yeah. Yes, sir. We do. Thank you. All right. Hold it back. Let it stall. See, it doesn't even want to stall. Right. <laughs> it likes to fly. Yeah. We'll do one more. There you go. Now hold that stick all the way back. Pull it all the way back into your lap. There's the stall. Let it down real easy. Okay. Now let's level off at 2,000. Put your power back on and give me a left turn here. I want to go around that. Okay, carb heat in, and push your nose down. Trim it down, because we had a lot of nose up trim in there. Senior, a couple steps to the left, I have the airport side. 
In seven kilo alpha, thank you. Flight in one seven zero, to maintain four thousand. Okay, just hold me at two thousand feet. Push down and trim down. Trim that nose down. Take me around that stack right there two times and try to hold your two thousand feet and get it all trimmed up. All right, keep the turn around a point. Yeah, yes, keep your turn in there. You got to look at your point, though. Look at the horizon, then. Don't chase that altimeter. Just look at the horizon. Try to cycle it out on the horizon, the nose on the horizon. Pick me around there a couple times. All right, now look at your point. You're supposed to be looking at your point about 70% of the time, because it's a ground reference maneuver. Mm -hmm. King Air 7 kilo off, clear visual approach, runway 5 left. First the visual 5 left, 7 kilo off. Now don't use it once you're in your turn here. Don't use any rudder right now, you don't need it. Work yourself down to 2,000. Good. It's amazing how it comes back to you quick, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have you had, no, we're not going to do it today, but have you had time to uh, study those slow flight approach and departure stalls? Uh, I have. Okay. Just get those, commit those to memory next time. Well, tomorrow, I think we're on tomorrow, right? Will he going? Yeah, yeah, oh, just one more turn around there. Uh, we'll go over those three tomorrow, okay? Okay. Get, get going on those. Because you're, you're ahead of the curve here. doing in this maneuver, you're trying to see what the wind's doing to you. Obviously, the wind is blowing us into it right now. And um, you vary your angle of bank to maintain a constant radius around there. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. King your 7 kilo off of contact tower, 1 to 1.2. 1 1.2, we'll see you, 7 kilo off. All right, Captain, take us home. All right. Let's see here. Hold us at 2,000. 2,000. And there's Knoxville, so we'll be over here somewhere. All right, look for that dump, because that dump, there's your golf course right there. There's the dump right here, wow. right on your nose. Got it. That's our entry point for both runways, okay? We'll go midfield crosswind from there. Here's the other way. Hit direct. Hit D and hit enter twice. We'll give you a nice line right to the airport. And let's go on down to 1800. That'll be entry. And we want to make a uh, call. We're approximately three miles northeast. Tell everybody we're inbound for runway eight. We're three miles northeast and inbound for runway eight. Island of traffic Cessna 331 Romeo is inbound for eight zero. Help. Three miles north. Romeo, here. that's still an off approach. Uh, radio service terminated and change the advisor. There is traffic just east of the airport. Three one Romeo, thanks, you All right, that's my fault. <laughs> now, now you can tell. All right, get your carburetor heat out. Power to 2000. 
see a um, downtown says the 4321 Romeo is a mile and a half northeast and we're entering a downwind for runway 8. Island of traffic, Cessna 4331 Romeo is a mile and a half to the northeast. Entering left-hand traffic, 8-0, Island Home. All right, go ahead and turn downwind. Yeah, hold Down yourself up 1,800 feet. Head for the Sun Sphere in the middle of town. Downtown traffic, Cherokee 3296 Niner, on the ramp, taxiing to runway 8 downtown. All right, now work yourself back up to 1,800. That's where everybody's looking for us. Helicopter 3 Niner Charlie Papa, departing 8, parallel taxiway from the fuel farm. Right track. All right, when we get to the bridge, we're going to push, pull, turn, trim. We're going to push our nose down, pull our power to idle, start our turn, two notches and nose up trim. Now we're going to look on the final and give ourselves a belly check, make sure nobody's coming in to ruin our day. Pull your power back to 2,000. We need to go down to 1,800. We don't want a high start here. Push her right on down. Mm -hmm. There's your bridge. Push. Pull. Downtown, Archer, turn. Three, five, four, all the way back. All the way back on the power. Turn all the way back. For runway eight downtown. All right. Put your nose on that apartment building. There you go. Look out here. Make sure nobody's coming in. And uh, three one Romeo's on base. Turn final. All right. Turn your final. Put that rudder in there. Now look around the corner so you don't over or undershoot. All right, now good landings are the result of a real steady pitch attitude. Take your hands off the controls real quick. You need some nose down trim and we're fast. We're fast here because the north wind on the base pushed us. So put your left wing down for a slip, right rudder, full right rudder, all the way as far as you can go. This increases your rate of descent without it. Now wow. use your aileron. No, no, keep your keep your rudder in there. Five okay. forty turn and use your ailerons for directional control. All right, now you can kick it out, fly it right down to the runway, and we're fast. We had a tailwind there. Now, just parallel the runway. Keep your, three nine, Charlie, pop take your eyes it's off the runway. Right There's two little hills way in the distance. Now hold your eyes on those two little hills and just be patient with it. Downtown, all right, is on try your brakes. Put both hands on your yoke and pull it all the way back. Both hands on your yoke, both hands all the way back. That throws the elevator up for aerodynamic braking. All right, let's get off the runway. We got a guy that's right in back of us here. All right, tell everybody we're clear of runway eight. Out of traffic, 4331 Romeo is clear of runway 80. I don't know. All right, let's get on our straightaway, and then you never want to read a checklist while you're taxiing, so we'll do a flow pattern and clean our airplane up. Hold that all the way back. Okay, now use your uh, just use your rudder pedals, don't use your brake. All right, All let's get our, make sure our flaps are up first on this flow pattern. Flaps up. Flaps are up. Lean your mixture an inch. Carburetor heat in. Landing lights off. Uh, center your trim back up. Three notch, Charlie, pop the short final. All right, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, just a little flow pattern. And we want to taxi and... Um, downtown traffic, Turkey, three, two, nine, or six, nine, and holding short range down there. We want to uh, park our airplane into the wind, so let's go around the tanks. Okay. Charlie Papa's clear. There you go. Right on that little line there, the 
two asphalts. All right, pull your power back, pull your power back. All right, now get far enough up here so the next guy can't have a chance to hit that taxi light when he turns, right there. Okay, break on and read your after landing and secure checklist. Transponder, stand by. <clears throat> Flaps up. Good. Mixture link one inch. Carburetor heat, cold. Landing light off. Tram reset. We're good. Engine shut down. Electrical and avionics off. So do we, we just turn the switch off. Yeah, yeah, just go all the way to the left on that one. Little 1200. We leave it where it is. Do we need to go to 1200? Yeah, put it at 1,200 because it'll it'll uh, shut that fuel valve off better. Sure, idle cut off. All the way back, pull it all the way back. Give it a good seat so that valve sets. And Mission off when the prop stops. Faster switch off. Goodbye.